Hello, my name is Manny Ramirez, and on behalf of the Shadow Hills High School counseling team, I'd like to welcome the class of 2024 to Shadow Hills High School, where Knights do it right. We want to give you a brief overview of what to expect the first week of school and things to start thinking about as you begin your high school journey. I also want to point out that we do have a Google Classroom code that's available to the class of 2024. If you have not already joined, please enter the following code into Google Classroom so that you stay informed about all things related to school counseling. In this presentation, I'm going to introduce the, the rest of our counseling team who will be joining me here shortly. Uh, we will also cover information on course requests and schedules, Shadow Hills High School activities and the importance of getting involved, and also college and career readiness. Shadow Hills High School has four counselors. Uh, we separate our alpha, I'm sorry, our caseloads by alphabet, uh, last name alpha. Uh, so Mrs. Munoz has A through DIL. Mrs. Morden has DIM through LOP. There's me, uh, Mr. Ramirez, ha I have LOR through RICH. And Mrs. Sexton has RIL through Z. I do have our email addresses up there because we want to emphasize that we are here for you and email is probably going to be the primary form of communication at the time during distance learning, but please do not hesitate to reach out to us. And if you want to set up an appointment, we can do that through Zoom or even through the phone or, you know, we can also answer some questions um, over email. Our administrative, uh, administration team um, is led by our principal, Mr. Fajardo. We have three assistant principals, Dr. K, Mrs. Wood, and Mr. Wells. I'm now going to hand it over to Mrs. Munoz, who will go over course requests, schedules, and online registration. Welcome, class of 2024 and parents. I'm Mrs. Munoz. I'm counselor A through DIL. So if your last name starts with A through DIL, I'm going to be your counselor this school year. I'm looking forward to meeting you, working with you, and getting to know you. So I'm going to talk to you guys a couple, about a couple of things during this presentation. The first thing being online registration. If you are a current Desert Sands student, your registration will be online. We've provided a link for you to be able to access the online registration. During the registration, please make sure that you are updating phone numbers and emails. During this time of distance learning, it's important that we have updated contact information for a successful distance learning experience. The window opens August 17th. We've also provided a parent view link where parents are able to access students' um, assignments, grades, and also contact teachers from there as well too. So the next thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about is your schedules. So this is a typical ninth grade schedule. As you can see, it's English, math, science, a foreign language, an elective, a PE class, and then a class of health and college and careers or AVID. So the differences that you may see in a schedule would be if you've requested honors, you would see English one honors, math one honors. Um, another thing that you may notice that may be different from another student's schedule is they may have geoscience versus conceptual physics. All our freshmen will have one or the other. Also, for students who have requested Cadet Corps, um, they will have Cadet Corps in lieu of PE or dance. And then if you've requested AVID, you will not have the Health or the College of Careers. Or if you do not want AVID, you will see the Health and the College and Careers class. Now with that, it'll be one semester of Health and then one semester of College and Careers. So that's what a typical ninth grade schedule looks like. You guys will be able to access your schedules through your student view. Please make sure that you guys are checking your emails regularly starting August 17th in order to be able to access that schedule. If for some reason you access your schedule and you've got some questions, please make sure that you email your counselor with your concerns and questions. Now I'm going to go ahead and hand over the presentation to Mrs. Morden. She's going to talk to you guys about staying connected. Hi, my name is Mrs. Morden, and I'm a counselor for those students with the last name starting with DIM through LOP. I get to talk to you about the fun stuff that we have on campus. We have clubs and sports and activities and so much to offer. Dances, pep rallies, 40 different clubs. And the question that we probably get the most is about sports. How do we 
join a sport. Well, this year, CIF has determined that instead of three seasons of sport, we are going to have two seasons of sport. But don't fret because we have all the same sports that we've had in the past. So in fall, we will have cross country and football and volleyball and water polo and um, competitive sports cheer. And then the spring, oh, excuse me, the spring is baseball, softball, basketball, golf, soccer, swimming, track and field, wrestling, sports cheer again, and tennis. So we have all the sports that we've had in the past. Um, they're just in two seasons of sport. Fall sport will probably start in December if all goes well with the health situation and the pandemic. Um, but you can get started now in that you need to be cleared in order to participate in sports. So this screen, you can pause it, and this is all the directions that you will need in order to be cleared to play or even practice your sport that you would wish to try out for. So go to athleticclearance.com and uh, register, and you can sign up for more than one sport at that time. So if you're interested in more than one, maybe a fall, one in fall and one in spring, you can do that at the same time, and you'd have to get a, a physical as well. Um, down below are the contact information if you have any more questions. Our athletic director is Mr. Michael Walsh, and our athletic assistant is Mr. Richard Romo, and they will get back to you as soon as they can um, so you can email Mr. Romo at that uh, email address and he will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, the next slide is going to be presented to you by another counselor, Mrs. Lou Sexton. So welcome, new Knights. Greetings, Knights. I am Mrs. Sexton and I am the counselor for students whose last names begin with R-I-L through Z. And I'm here today to briefly talk to you about a through G. And if you have already been an AVID in middle school, you know what I'm going to talk about. Here at Shadow, we believe that if you want to make the most out of your education, you will take all four years, English, math, science, and foreign language. Not only does it make you college and career ready, we think it sets you on your feet to be the most prepared for life. We also have some interesting programs or called CTEs. The CTEs we offer here at Shadow are Computer Science Academy, the Aviation Academy, Technology and Landscape Management Academy, and Emergency Management Academy. Very interesting programs offering students lots of fun options. Wrong way. The other thing I want to talk to you about today is college and career readiness. We have this wonderful website that the district has already purchased for all Desert Sand students. Every parent can log into their student's account and together you can explore local colleges, state colleges, and colleges throughout the country. Looking into majors or areas of study, and careers that are connected to those majors. You can look at careers you're curious about or be adventurous and look into careers you've never even heard of. We'll be providing some lessons for you so that you can dig deeper and really familiarize yourself with this program. Why? Because here at Shadow, we want you to become all that you can be. Thank you so much. I am Mrs. Sexton and I look forward to getting to know you. Thank you, Mrs. Munoz, Mrs. Morden, and Mrs. Sexton. Um, before we go, I want to point out some valuable resources that are available to you. Uh, first and foremost, there's our website, our school website, that has um, tons of up-to-date information on the school opening. We have a student and parent view. Uh, continuously be checking on that so you can look at your grades. And of course, uh, our Class of 2024 Google Classroom. I want to uh, end by reminding everyone that we are here for you. Please reach out to us if you need to. Um, and remember that nights do it right.